health at every size, health at every size. Can you be healthy at every, at any size? We're gonna get to the bottom of that right now. Mmm, vegan tears. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on fam? It's your boy Papa Swilio back with some more nuts on your chin. Thank you for being here. Smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified. Let's get into today's topic. Beaches, booshes, bust as hustlers and yell hoes. We got a poll, we got a swole poll that I posted here a couple days ago. The poll states or asks or posits, do you think you can be healthy at every size? Now you might know health at every size or healthy at every size as H-A-E-S, otherwise commonly referred to as haze. Do you think you could be healthy at every size? Can you be healthy when you are underweight? It's kind of the definition, you're underweight, you're not at a good weight, you're under the weight you should be at. Overweight, you are over the weight you should be at. Now. How you define what that weight is depends on the person's height, body composition, all these other different things, right? But the health at every size movement or the lack of movement, I should say, is geared towards promoting obesity, promoting victimhood mentality, promoting being average, promoting changing your hashtags rather than changing your lifestyle. It's easier to change a hashtag than it is to change your habits. And we talk about that every single day. So as we get into it, I wanna read a couple comments. I wanna read some of the feedback because the poll is in favor of no, just slightly no, 96%, yes, 4%. So let's look through a couple of the responses just to get some context as to what you all, the Swole fam, think about this BS. Before we move any further, remember, I go live every single day for the Daily Swole podcast. So join myself and the Swole fam every single day on my other channel, The Daily Swole. Make sure you check the link down below in the description. And also, we only have one more day. The F Your Resolution specials are ending for Swole Normous X. They are over. One more day. By the time you watch this, they might already be gone. So check the link below for SwoleNormousX.com. Fam, if you are not yet a member of the Swole fam, now is the time to join. Not only do you get access to Swole TV with Nuts on Chin Unplugged, Driving While Gaining Uncensored, Swole Motion Behind the Scenes Vlogs, exclusive content for members only, none of those shows disappeared. It's just too hot for YouTube, so we stream it privately live for members inside Swole TV. Get access to the private Swole Fam Facebook group, the private Swole Fam Discord. You get access to Swole Text where I will text you one-on-one, -on -one, give you exclusive updates and notifications when I'm going live and when new content's being posted. But even more importantly, with the unlimited option, save up to 50%, it ends tomorrow. At the time you're watching this, it might even be tonight. Don't miss out on the F Your Resolution specials. We have full programs, Swole Mastery, the 90 Day Dash. We have Scorched Earth. We have Swole Season. Whether you're bulking, whether you're trying to cut, whether you don't have any equipment at all, we have the program for you. We have an entire yoga studio with over 150 yoga classes. You could stream 24 hours a day. You can do yoga wherever and whenever you want. You can do meditation, the Brain Gains Meditation Center, wherever and whenever you want. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you could meditate wherever you are. We teach you all the tools that you need. Plus, you get access to the entire recipe archive inside the kitchen, the Nutrition Jumpstart Manual. We walk you through the elimination diet. We got it all inside Soul Enormous X. You don't need anything, whether you're in quarantine, whether you're snowed in, whether you're trying to shake things up, you have some injuries you're trying to repair, you're trying to fix your nutrition, you're trying to get involved with more meditation, you're trying to nail all your seven pillars. Check it out, SoulEnormousX.com. Let's get into some of the actual comments so you know that that the Swole Fam. You know the Swole Fam. You all know people don't like it. People not a fan. Not a fan of the healthy at every size. 96% no. 96%? That's a no. We don't believe in it, apparently. 96%. Let's see some of the comments. We got one from NC. You could be healthy at a range of sizes, but saying health at every size is just ignorant. Rachel Lewis, I prefer you could be unhealthy at any size. 
I like that one. That's true. Now, here's the thing. You could be really skinny. Doesn't mean that you're healthy. You could be an alcoholic. You could smoke two packs a day. You know, you're unhealthy because you are emaciated. You're malnutritioned. If you're obese, you got too much nutrition. You got too much human. You're eating too much. You're not exercising enough. You're probably eating a lot of inflammatory foods. You're not getting enough sleep. Your stress is through the roof. There are many reasons why you could be overweight and or underweight. Health at every size? Come on, fam. Come on. Miss Maybe. You could start living a healthy lifestyle at any size, but your body isn't going to be healthy at every size. This I agree with, and this is what I'm talking about all the time. I don't hate fat people. I don't hate fat people. I hate the fat activism. Seriously, the fat activism is awful. Being fat, being obese, that's a problem. That's a challenge, but that can be overcome. The thing is, if you are changing your hashtags, if you're complaining, if you're not in control of your life, if you're not taking personal responsibility, you can't do anything to change it. You have to wait for someone else to do something. You have to make sure that no one else hurts your feelings. It's like take personal responsibility, step up to the plate and start taking care of your health. If you're obese in the gym, I commend you. That's where you should be. Training, lifting, trying to change your physique, change your health. That's great. Everyone's got a different starting point. If your parents raised you poorly, it is what it is. You, you can't pick your parents, but you can make a decision now moving forward. Does that make sense? I think it does. Your good friend, Kit. No, but I wanna say that anyone of any size can choose to start making healthy choices and become healthier. Yes, absolutely true. You cannot be healthy at every size, but can you make a choice and start changing? Sure, it doesn't mean you can't snap your fingers and all of a sudden, boom, you have the body you want. Everyone's got their own starting point. Again, great comment, I agree. Alyssa, riddle me this, why is it there are people out there or out here, mainly those in health at every size, saying you could be healthy at any size, yet they're only interested in saying fat people are healthy? Why aren't they saying anything about those who are emaciated and too skinny? because they're wrong. They aren't talking about people being emaciated because that would counter their point. That's why you can't be healthy at every size. That's why I don't like this. Everyone's got their own starting point, but this is justifying being obese. This is pro-fat fat activism. This is trying to get support for being fat and unhealthy. Lunatics. The question is, can it be done in isolation? No. Kurt Codine, <laughs> Danielle LaBelle, Danielle LaBelle. You actually can be healthy at every size, even at 200, except if you're 300 or more. Daniel, so th this makes no sense. You actually can be healthy at every size, even at 200. It depends on your size. If you're six foot tall, your height has a lot to do with it. If you're seven foot tall, you're gonna be a lot heavier. You got more structure on you. That doesn't make any sense. Sorry, Daniel, that makes no sense. Mesa aesthetic, 4% need to go back to school. The 4% that said yes, I, <laughs> I agree. Tina, defiant, um, I didn't see a hell no choice to pick LOL. I agree, hell no, you cannot be healthy at every size. The reason why they're always talking about it from the obese standpoint is because they're wrong. It's fundamentally not organized, not structured in a way that can actually be true, okay? You can't be emaciated and skinny sticks and stick and bones and be healthy. That's not healthy either. So what are your thoughts? Drop a comment down below. What are your thoughts if you didn't yet vote on that swole poll? Can you be healthy at every size? I say a 96% of, I don't know how 4% said, Yes, but 96% say no. 96% say that you cannot be healthy at every size. It's settled. It seems like it's common sense. So smash the like button, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, drop a comment down below. And also fam, again, in closing, do not miss out on this opportunity to get access to Swolenormous X for up to 50% off. Check the link down below. On the outro, you'll see an awesome little promo, but you get everything you need. We have full programs, a full yoga studio, full meditation. We help you customize your nutrition. We have hundreds, if not thousands of recipes in the recipe archive and all the different pieces of information that you need to learn how to meal prep, to learn how to go through the elimination diet, to customize your nutrition, what nutrition lifestyle you want to approach, whether it's paleo, carnivore, vegan, keto, whatever it is, we help you customize what works best for you. Everyone is different, but the one thing that all of us need to extract from our lives is the bullshit 
that is health at every size. You can do better, take personal responsibility, take care of your health, and if you need some help, and if you want to surround yourself with the best possible people, going online is a hot mess, going on Twitter is a hot mess. Most of your coworkers and family members and friends, maybe they're not on the same page as you and they're a hot mess. Surround yourself with the best people, surround yourself with the Swole fam. Learn more, join today, swolenormousx.com. And thank you so much for watching, fam. I'll see you real soon for some more nuts on your chin. A peace, the fa out. Health at every size, huh? I'll tell you what's really healthy. Some nice, crisp peppermint tip. Look at that healthy tip. Look at that. You see that size? You see that girth? Yeah. Fill up on that minty goodness. Refreshing. Yeah. Take it all. <laughs> yeah. Take it all, baby. Take it all. Look at those big floppy titties. Woo. -hoo. We stay woke, but y'all sleep. Rilla mo, but y'all sheep. She a good girl, but at the crib, she a real freak. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke, we in real mode. I said, stay woke, real mode. Stay woke, real mode. I said, stay woke, real mode. Stay woke, real mode. I said, stay woke, real mode. Stay woke, real mode. I said, stay woke, real mode. Stay woke, real mode. Y'all some jokers, y'all a bunch of clowns. You will not get a laugh out of me. You can talk, but you can't denounce. I live a different theology. Why I transfer to a new account? You just fucked over a prodigy. Posted up with a running crown. You are the king of the apology. You about to see a new side of me. I hope you know. We stand up and watch our enemy go. 